I woke up in the dark today, sealed down in the ground, in a box with satin pillows and flowers all around. And there I lay for hours with just one thought in my head. Life just ain't worth living on the day you wake up dead. Tearing through my coffin, I clawed up through the earth and climbed through mud and muck until my own grave gave me birth. Then turning to a headstone, a young boy's name I read. Here lies Joey Pratt. That's me, the boy who woke up dead. To the cemetery gates I turned and tried to run, but I could barely shuffle like my feet both weighed a ton. It took me all night long to find my house and room and bed. Seems speed is not an option on the day you wake up dead. Little sis rose with the dawn and came into my room. She asked me how I got there and why I wasn't in my tomb. Mother screamed and father screamed. They grabbed my sis and fled. No one wants to see their boy the day he wakes up dead. Father raced back to my room, a shotgun at his side. Mother cried, no, he's still our son, as tears streamed from her eyes. I tried to call their names, but grr and arg came out instead. Communication is quite tricky for a boy who wakes up dead. A fever burned inside my gut. I pointed to my mouth. Mother said he's hungry. That's what this is all about. She brought me eggs and sausages and buttered toasted bread. But brains are all you want to eat the day you wake up dead. Just then a cat leapt to my arms and purring nuzzled close. I opened wide and took a bite. And sister yelled, that's gross. Father cried, I've got it, as upon the cat I fed. Meals can be quite messy for a boy who woke up dead. Now pet shops in three counties are all running out of rats. And our neighborhood is seemingly devoid of stray cats. My family, they still love me, but they keep me in the shed. Guess things could go much worse for a boy who woke up dead. <laughs>